Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, where we just at the last, like, five seconds of the last episode got a bunch of cash from events, and we're going to need to go around and find places to spend it. Now all of this down here should be fully built up, but we're just going to go through and make absolutely certain of that for this episode here. Everything in our economic duchy should, I believe, be complete, and it does appear to be that way. So that is great. Let's check through our military duchy here real quick. This county is done. Okay. Let's check through our capital duchy, or our capital county, rather. We can construct here our duchy building, and we definitely should. I think that we're probably going to go for blacksmiths to get our men-at-arms better. And we use fairly fairly hefty amounts of heavy infantry and spearmen, I believe. Double checking that. Yeah, we have some pikemen and some spearmen. This is actually not maxed out, which we could do, but I'm not too concerned about doing that right now. Let's get these blacksmiths built. Let's see, we have these bowmen right now to counter skirmishers. Yeah, I think it's fine. We don't really counter archers at this moment, but I'm not too concerned about that. We can toss in... Let's see, we're going to need two more units of onagers. We can probably back off on our on our bowmen, get like some heavy cavalry, and then get two units of heavy cavalry, keep one unit of bowmen, or perhaps changing these to something else. Uh, let's see here. Now is not the time for that, looking at what's currently available. So we'll get that constructing, and let's see what we've got up over here. This county is done. This temple will require additional work, but beyond that, it's done. This meadow will require additional work as well. But broadly, we're done out here. So, we're going to spend this cash up this way instead. Let's get these trade ports going. This is maxed out. Definitely a trade port construction here. Trade port construction here. That's maxed. Trade port here. Sure, show in the Sheik. He'll bring 50 gold, but more importantly, renown. I like it. Fishing net weavers. We could honestly upgrade this to level 2. It does need to happen eventually. Okay. Uh, this guy is sanctioning war declaration. Sure, whatever. I don't care about that. He can do whatever he wants with, with, with regard to that. So let's go ahead and construct these temple grounds. And we'll get that all underway. So that'll be great. We're currently making 86.7 gold per month. There's more to be made. We definitely need to continue to upgrade. And we're just holding off down here for the time being. We will build down here as well soon enough. But for now, it's fine. Looking at our innovations here, wh what time does high, high Medieval Era become unlocked? Actually, we're getting quite close. Fascinating. So we're about five years away from the High Medieval Era unlocking. Hereditary rule and coinage will be done in 15 and 9 years. So that's noted. Communal government is still good. Chronicle writing is not useful for us right now. Arched saddle is going to be useful. And horseshoes can be useful as well. We're not too concerned about either of these, though, with our current rule set. So I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Cool. So we can continue looking for places to upgrade over here. And I think it'll be this castle. We'll go ahead and get that going. And then there's also this city up here that I'd love to get upgrading. 133 gold on that. These duels will cease at once. Okay, this can all use upgrades as well. So we're currently just focused on these counties, although there's two locations in our personal holdings that still need work. This mosque, which is about to finish up, and this city, which is not. So we'll save up cash for the moment until this Temple Grounds is done. Another 15 days on that. Perfect. 
I'm not gonna do any alliance negotiations at this time. I'm feeling pretty strong. Actually, let's take a quick look. 25K, they're comparable to us. Anybody else on that level? So I wouldn't argue that we're the strongest right now. It looks, based on a brief look around, we appear to be the second strongest in the world after this guy. That's not bad. I like it. And economically, we're almost certainly the strongest. I want to take a quick look here. How's this guy? 40, he's losing 42.4 gold per month with his army raised. So fair enough. How much of that is coming out of his military, though? Probably a lot. I would argue that we're probably stronger economically than he is. But that's not a guarantee. It's just very likely. So we're going to have these Hunter's Guilds done in eight months. That should be enough time to work our way over this way, upgrading that city. We can also grab a perk here. We'll grab organized muster rolls for the time being, working our way down towards divided detention. And we are 44 right now. So that's also noted. Looking at our legacies here, we are still quite a ways away from home estates. I had hoped that we would be getting home estates done about now. Because if we look at our succession, it's yikes. Our succession is officially yikes. <laughs> no doubt about that. Well, hopefully we can get it fixed soon enough. All of these are all maxed out, so that is good. We could also grant out this castle if we wanted to hold, say, this, but I don't think there's any way that he's going to let that happen. 20% chance. Maybe. We did just finish a promote culture task, and we should definitely continue to work on that. The more cultures that we promote, the more likely it is going to be that these guys start upgrading their own holdings. Although their income is low, and that's understandable. Completely and totally understandable. So we're going to be finishing up this Hunter's Guild in just 30 days here. And that's great. We definitely want to get this meadow building because that will max out this castle. And there we go. So all we need now is to get this temple maxed out. That's going to be fairly expensive, but we also need to do some work up over here. So let's continue to work on this. Um, sure, I, I don't care. Okay, so there's a couple more upgrades done there. There's a crown smithy finishing up as well. So that is fantastic. So we're 2,400 troops right now, and it bears noting that this guy... He was at like 25,000, but he did have these 3,000 mercenaries. So I believe that we actually are the strongest in the world at this point. We're not allowed to declare war on this guy, I'm pretty sure. Correct. We're not allowed to declare war on him. So we definitely take his 300 gold. And that will, of course, allow us to really start work on some of these upgrades through here. Now, this castle should get upgraded as a reasonably high priority. It's going to be about two months. But I do think getting things up to level two is a higher priority than building the buildings for right now. Just because it's a longer construction, and I feel like the AI is less likely to go through with that expenditure. So this temple up to level two is also quite, quite important. Whereas, see, a location like this... This guy has 232 gold right now. He's making 3.6 per month. He's reasonably likely to get enough to upgrade one of these. Which we would love. That would save us money. We would absolutely love that. A murky lineage. Well, I'm sure it's fine. You're still sleeping with him, aren't you? Yep. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Might have been better if we hadn't have found out, but it is what it is. So I want to get this mosque upgrading to level two. We're about two months away from that. Make that one month away. Next payment. Let's go. Cool. 
So that's underway. Is there anything else up here that is not upgraded to level 2 holding? That's a negative. Okay. Let's go ahead and upgrade our desert agriculture up here. We're now making 90.1 gold per month. And that is beautiful. With all of these maxed out holdings in our economic duchy, that's unsurprising. I wouldn't mind working on swaying this guy. Let's get that started. And the idea here is we will revoke this castle because we'd rather hold this castle than this one. So we can get away with that. We do have a stewardship perk available. We'll take popular figurehead. Cool. Let's get that city maxed out. And now I'm hoping that this guy... Oh, we're ill. Okay. Uh, how old are we? We're 46. We're hail with a hearty diet. We'll survive this. Okay. Cool. This is like the 15th time that she has uh, cheated on us, and we've, we've just forgiven her every time. Mostly because I don't feel like finding another wife. <laughs> I'd rather just spend all of my efforts on building structures. So there we go. We're up to almost 91 gold per month. It's a good amount. Our goal for this life, if you recall... Did this guy just start this? He did. Beautiful. Our goal for this life, if you recall, was to make a 100 gold per month. We could actually get there if we were to bump up to stress level 2. With us being ill, though, I definitely don't want to do that. That is certainly not a thing that we want to do at this time. We'll get these monasteries building. There we go. And we just have good amounts of cash pouring in now. Excellent. We can upgrade this homestead, which we should definitely do. Anything that makes us more money at this point. We'll get to the point where money doesn't matter, but we're not there yet. And until we get there, we gotta keep working away at this. So we would love to see all of these finish up. And of course this mosque here, it has a lot of work yet, but I'm very glad that this guy started this on his own. He even has more money left over, so he might be able to get another one started after that finishes. How much is he making? Probably not much. Yeah, two gold per month. Not a lot, but it'll it'll do fine. Hey, we're no longer ill. Perfect. So that city is maxed. This temple is not. Okay. There's a lot up this way that's not maxed just yet. How long until we can extort and sell? Not very, is the answer. Very, very soon. So we can continue to spend down our gold as rapidly as possible. Hmm. Only in solitude. Okay, so we lose our stress level. We're very close to bumping up in stress here. That does reduce our income. I don't necessarily love a training field there, but it'll do fine. A merchant community of Andalusians, huh? Actually, 300 gold and bumping up stress here? Done. Cool. So we bump up a stress level. Let's go ahead and build our Carpenter's Guilds here. Only 89.8, so we're slightly lower in our income than we were previously. But we'll sell our Ritz of Honor. A true and loyal vassal. And what do we got here? Why take a little when I can take a lot? We're, of course, going to spend all of that money as quickly as we can. And that money will go into things. <laughs> things indeed. Well, we can do a feast, I suppose. Welcome, friends. And let's go ahead and build a trade port up over here. The Witness... Oh, my. Okay. Well, we can definitely get a new spy master here. That'll be this guy. 
And just checking through up this way, there's no more money that we can spend over here. We can spend it down this way in this camelry. Okay. And our wife was murdered. That was not our high stewardship wife. So we can just find somebody else who has decent congenital traits. Eh, hail will do. Perfect. Okay. So we know that these down here are all maxed out, right? That's definitely a thing. Everything in our economic duchy is fully maxed out. In our military duchy, everything should be mostly maxed out, with the exception of this building, which actually just finished up. Let's go ahead and get another quarry started, as well as this down here, which needs one more construction beyond the one that it's building right now. Okay. Founding a holy order? I don't care about that, but we do need a new steward, and that'll be this guy. Cool. And looking through everything up over here, let's just see if there's anything not constructing. I mean, there is. Let's get that going. Everything else is constructing up here now. We do get a new stewardship perk. That will be our domain limit bumping up. And that would, in theory, allow us to revoke this title. 93% chance of acceptance. Done. We need a new spy master because of that, but it'll be this guy. And then we can come down this way. And what are we looking for? Well, we are looking for anything that is not holding level two. So we're going to get some holding level twos constructing down over this direction. And that'll all be just fine. But we are virtually out of cash. Virtually. And apparently another wife died. That was our stewardship wife. So we're going to need a new stewardship wife. And she will do. We just joined the High Medieval Era, and we can look at that in a moment. She is our primary spouse now, because we want those sweet, sweet stats. Beautiful. Okay, so we just joined the High Medieval Era. None of this has any progress yet, and there's still a bunch of stuff in the Early Medieval Era that we want. Specifically... Well, specifically coinage. These things aren't, strictly speaking, necessary, though. What we should do is check to see what we need for level 3 castles. Uh, it is hoardings. And we should start working on that immediately. We should fascinate hoardings. That's going to be 42 years out, but we'll get that underway. And we'll just let this finish up. We'll see if the exposure stays in the early, early medieval era or not. But that'll be fine. So we'll get that all underway. But we're a long ways away from that, you know, doing anything of note. Sure, show in the Sheik. He is going to bring some renown. I like it. I mean, his renown was in shambles, but it's renown nonetheless. These are all constructing up over this way, which is fully expected. Let's come on down over this way and get this temple upgrading to level 2. And then we can come down here as well. Perfect. Do it. We should be finishing up some of these upgrades up this way. And we indeed are. We'll get these guilds underway. Everything over here is now done. We are going to need to upgrade our farmsteads here. So that's about two months out. Noted. Now we're currently 49. We're doing fine for the moment. We're making 3.1 renown per month. I think we're a long ways away from our legacy. We are indeed. We're a long ways away from this legacy still. Our succession is going to be awkward. So that's definitely noted. We can demand a payment from this guy, and we may as well. Okay. 
Let's get this upgrade going. And this upgrade going. That maxes out this city. Beautiful. We did lose our Spy Master again. And we'll get another one. Same skill level as before, strangely enough. We can get an upgrade going in this castle very, very shortly. In fact, right now, and let's go for Desert Agriculture. We just got 300 gold from our wife's excellent stewardship, which is great. I like it. Looking through up here, we definitely need farms and fields. And I would like to get this coop constructed. So we need 92 more gold for that. That'll be a next month thing. There's Architect done which will help us to some degree with reducing costs and time to construct. That does mean that we should have enough to do this a little bit faster. Actually, no. Oh, this guy started it himself. Perfect. So now we don't need to do that. We get this farms and fields going instead. Cool. So that's all great. There's still a lot of stuff down here that we need to work on. We're just a very forgiving sort, it seems. Perfect. Our stress level is down. We're at stress level zero and making 96 gold per month. That's a little wild. Okay, I'm going to go into our succession here. We're going to look at this guy. We want to have him be on a stewardship education. He is charming. Which may make him struggle. Is he our youngest son? No, we have quite a lot of children. Okay. Cool. So we'll get this going. We'll have somebody educate him. And that's going to be maybe us. Actually, this wife here. Perfect. That'll do. And we're going to need to handle our succession. I think that we can't really afford getting another another legacy perk right now. It's unfortunate, but we're going to have to start working on this. Now, that's not going to improve our situation at all at this moment. Not until we get a few more. So we'll get these going. And disinherit this guy as well. Oh, we're missing the prestige for that. Okay. We'll get to that. That'll be fine. And we will attend to this feast because I actually want to bump up our stress level. That would be nice. Okay, what's going on over here? We definitely need a farms and fields built. We don't want to found a holy order right now. Now we've gained lover's box. Hilarious. Okay. Our desert agriculture is being worked on. These are some very awkward holdings here. Oh, we lost the Nadirid romance. Okay. That's a little bit obnoxious. No doubt about that. Hmm. I've had quite enough, I think. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue to build this. My silence has a price. That's going to bump us up over 100 gold per month and make us a little bit of extra gold there, which is exactly what we want. Now we lose 24 stress and immediately go back down to stress level zero. That's a little sad, to be sure. But we can upgrade this monastery. That'll be fine. Just checking in up over this way. We're getting close to having this stuff being maxed out. That's beautiful. We still need a monastery down here. This is the last location within our duchies, as far as I'm aware. So I definitely want to get this going within our personal duchies here. So that is underway. And all of this should be maxed out, and all of these guys should just be banking cash. So the moment that we get... At this point, it's going to be windmills. The moment we get this, they're going to really tear into spending. Which is good. That's what we want them to do. So that is all completely fine. 
It is, however, time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue investing in our holdings up here and coming down this way a little bit, here and there, and putting some smatterings in down here. I'd like to get this fully completed next episode and have this well underway. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Kazerol. I, I'm not on the right place in my notepad. I need to make this bigger. Hang on. There we go. Now I can't do that anymore. Kazerol, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, James, Shadow Wolf, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Unisil, Kadra, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.